happening right now. Final preparations underway at the Oklahoma State Penitentiary for the latest execution here in the state. In about 30 minutes, Michael Dwayne Smith is set for lethal injection. And here in Oklahoma City at the governor's mansion, a group is protesting his execution. That's where we find KOCO's Cameron Seibert live for us this morning. Cameron, show us that scene there behind you. Yeah, good morning. 30 minutes after this protest started, you can see more people starting to gather here on this curb. This is the protest in what are quite literally the final moments of Michael Smith's life this morning. This group is the Oklahoma Coalition to abolish the death penalty, pushing to end executions here in Oklahoma. You can see they've got signs out here this morning standing in solidarity as they push for the end to executions. This is just one of many attempts to save Mr. Smith's life. Just yesterday, his family delivered a petition to Governor Stitt calling on him to intervene before his execution. Smith's attorneys have requested a clemency hearing. That was ultimately denied, and this morning, we've heard from some of these protesters. They, they say they just don't trust the current system set up in our state. And until we can work out all of these kinks in the system and we can come up with a way that's 100% foolproof, we shouldn't be killing anybody. Because just like my sign says, what if we got it wrong? What if a family member of yours was wrongly convicted and tried and executed. And then they find out later that they were innocent. You can never take that back. And in his final hours, Michael Smith has shared a statement. He said, my life is on the line despite new evidence. My attorney, Mark Henriksen, has informed my family that he will be filing no further appeals on my behalf. I'm releasing this statement to demand that Mr. Henriksen do his job and fight for my life. We'll take you back out live here, right in front of the governor's mansion. This is what the protest looks like this morning. Close to a dozen people holding signs. The big banner there, don't kill for me, stop executions. We've talked to a few of these protesters so far this morning. We plan to talk to more of them, get their perspective. Uh, and again, just now, less than 30 minutes until Mr. Smith will be executed by lethal injection at 10 a.m. this morning at the Oklahoma State Penitentiary. We're live in front of the governor's mansion this morning. Cameron Seibert, KOCO 5 News.